Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode of Electric Car Watch, we will talk about India's big three car makers, Tata Motors, Mahindra and Maruti, and what they will need to do to ensure they don't lose market share by 2030. The big three Indian car companies dominate the passenger car segment in India. Here are some numbers for November 2021. Maruti leads the passenger vehicle sector with sales of 109,726 units. Of course, Maruti has zero electric cars in their portfolio. So all of these are pollution cars. Tata Motors sold around 29,778 cars out of which 1,751 units were electric cars and Mahindra sold 19,458 cars. We don't have data of e sold by Mahindra. The number must be in the few hundreds. The MNCs Hyundai, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, MG, Skoda all sold 62,778 units. The interesting thing here is that the MNCs and Marutis fared worse compared to November 2020. Tata Motors, however, was the biggest gainer. That could be because of Tata's focus on safety and a solid electric car vision that is drawing many new generation car buyers towards them. Electric car sales in India are really pitiful. I really get pissed off when auto magazines and mainstream media look at EV sales and then say that electric cars are the problem. The real reason EV sales are so low is that the game is skewed towards ICE cars. Have every car company have two to three EV models in their portfolio and compel dealerships to actually showcase those cars through knowledgeable enthusiastic salesperson and then watch the EV numbers climb up. Did you know that when I went to buy my E2 or six years ago, the dealership tried to sell me on the soon to be launched KUV instead? The salesperson genuinely believed that the KUV was better than the E2O, which according to him was only suitable for housewives. These are the kind of negative forces we are dealing with. As you can see, the Indian big three have the largest market share compared to the MNC car companies. But with massive changes happening this decade and with the rapid transition towards electric cars, will the big three Indian car companies continue to have this kind of market lead over MNCs in the future? Apart from MNC car companies, in this decade, the big three will face competition from the imminent arrival of Tesla. They will also have to contend with well-funded electric car startups like Ola Electric and smaller startups like Strom Motors. Last, Chinese car companies will set up shop in India. Already we have BYD and MG Motors selling electric cars in India. BYD have started selling their E6 passenger and cargo vans with their Blade battery. MG is selling the MG ZS EV in India to massive success. Great Wall Motors is another Chinese company that was supposed to invest in India. They even showcased the Ora electric car for India at an auto expo. They seem to have paused their investments in India, but they should come back in a few years time. The Chinese electric car market is huge and in the coming years, the Chinese will start pushing ab abroad as their home market gets saturated. Unless there are major geopolitical complications, I can see companies like SIAC, Xpeng, Neo, Wuling, Cherry and others try to get a slice of the Indian car market. You may say that Tesla won't be as big a competitor to the big three as they sell luxury cars. But by 2023 or 2024, Tesla will definitely showcase a micro small car or a hatchback. Call it the Model A or the Model 2. The main intention of this car would be to sell in Asian car markets. Imagine a Tesla hatchback selling for 15 to 18 lakhs, having superior software and amazing battery technology. The car will rapidly eat into the big three's market share. I think the big three won't have to worry about MNC car companies. In a few years, companies like Toyota, Honda, Nissan and Hyundai will start to observe their market share dwindling globally and will be busy fighting fires in other markets. India won't be a priority for them. We are sure these MNC car companies themselves will further lose market share in India as we approach 2030. So the big three will have to worry more about Tesla. Ola Electric and Chinese electric car companies like BYD and MG. And what will be the focus of Tesla, Chinese car companies and Indian startups like Ola Electrics? Yes, you got that right, electric cars. So it is imperative for the big three, Maruti, Tata Motors and Mahindra to focus on and invest in electric car technology if they want to retain or grow their market share. 
Here are four focus areas for them. Number one, make investments in lithium cell manufacturing. Globally, we are seeing car companies like Tesla, Volkswagen and BYD all make their own lithium cells in gigafactories. That gives them a huge advantage over costs, quality and production bottlenecks. Tata Motors, Mahindra and Maruti cannot rely on vendors to supply them with cells. If they want to be competitive, they need to have control over lithium cell production. Do whatever it takes. Come together and set up a JV. These big companies need to band together if they want to survive. Number two. Create high voltage modular electric car platforms. Tata Motors have the Ziptron platform, but they will need to start planning their next gen platforms, which can support larger packs, faster charging rates and higher motor power. Mahindra showcased their Mesma platform back in 2018, but in, by 2022, that will look horribly outdated. And we don't have even a single production car based on the Mesma platform. For all we know, it was vaporware all along. Number three invest in software engineering. Tesla and the Chinese are incredibly advanced when it comes to integrating software in their cars. We have also seen global auto companies like Volkswagen create dedicated software companies to help them do software better. If the big three want to truly compete with Tesla, Chinese car companies or Indian car startups, then they will have to create awesome electric cars that are software driven. That means investing a lot of money to create world class software that will go into the cars. Number four, Vertical integration. BYD, the Chinese electric car giant, is one of the truly vertically integrated car companies. They control the manufacturing of lithium cell and battery packs. They make their own semiconductor chips. They have their own EV drivetrain platform within, with in-house manufactured power electronics. This kind of vertical integration will give BYD huge potential to disrupt the car market this decade. The big three will need to step up their vertical integration game if they want to be in control. Among the big three, Tata Motors seems the most promising and I predict that by 2030 they will lead both Mahindra and Maruti in passenger car sales. Tata has already acquired funds of around $2 billion for investment in EV tech development and have announced 10 electric car models that they will launch by 2025. I feel Mahindra should focus more on electrification of commercial vehicles as they won't have much competition in that area. Regarding Maruti, they will launch electric cars only when their Japanese overlords tell them to. That won't happen anytime soon. Apparently, Suzuki will launch an electric car in India in 2025. Wow! To put that in perspective, that's 42 years after the first Maruti was launched, 25 years after the Reva was launched and 12 years after the E2O was launched. Truly cutting edge Maruti, well done. Maruti may get serious about EVs one day. Will it be too late by then? Yes, they will definitely lose market share if nothing else and frankly they'll deserve it for their attitude. So guys, we want Indian car companies to win this race. Everything will depend on how serious they are about electric cars. There is going to be a pitched battle this decade between the big three versus Tesla versus the Chinese versus MNCs. Whatever happens, the coming five to six years will be very interesting. Thank you for watching. Do write in the comments below on your observations and research about the EV strategy of the big three. And I will see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.